Secretary General Ban Ki-moon making what he calls a necessary pilgrimage to Haiti. He expressed solidarity with cholera victims. There have been more than 700,000 cases in Haiti in the past four years, although this year has seen a decline in the scale of the epidemic. Pledging the United Nations' commitment to helping Haiti with its development, he launched with the government a new initiative to scale up sanitation and hygiene in rural areas. As a Secretary General of the United Nations, I want to assure you that the United Nations and its partners are strongly committed to ending the epidemic as quickly as possible. In the Middle East, the UN brokered a short and mostly observed humanitarian truce. It allowed aid into Gaza and gave both sides a five-hour reprieve from airstrikes and rockets. Senior UN officials were in Gaza earlier in the week. They visited UNRWA schools that serve as shelters for the people fleeing the fighting. All indications are, and I find this particularly dramatic, that women and children make up a sizable number of victims of the current strikes. What? Currently, more than one quarter of the fatalities are children. The spread of HIV and AIDS could be stopped by 2030. That's if prevention and treatment measures are stepped up. UNAIDS released its GAP report this week. It also says that 35 million people are HIV positive, but more than half of them don't know it. Governments are increasingly using private companies to snoop online. The UN Human Rights Office says governments are coercing companies to provide sweeping access to information and data related to citizens without them ever knowing. Invasive surveillance and the collection and storage of personal data arising from digital communication, whether this is targeted surveillance or massive in scope, may not only infringe on the right to privacy, but also on a range of other vital human rights. And honoring the legacy of Nelson Mandela. Every year on 18th July, Mr. Mandela's birthday, the UN joins the Nelson Mandela Foundation to devote 67 minutes of time to helping others. That's one minute for every year of Mr. Mandela's public service. Be on your apparent absence.